Mark Rudell. You know, Mark is fascinated by the, the desert as, he said, I love the desert because nobody ever cleans up after them. So this detritus that he, he photographs, to him is an index of our culture, our society, uh, our relationship to the, the land. Um, and it's also much, it's got layers and layers and layers of depth. Because we look at it, and while he's not a war photographer, he's not a socially concerned photographer, we get a lot out of these works by looking at them. And we, we can see, for example, in some of these, uh, well, the illegal, the flight of illegal immigrants across the border from Mexico into the United States, you know, is a, a narrative about the economic situation <coughs> that many people um, are living through, not just through the crossing seri series, but also in uh, desert houses where he's photographed these vans that people are now um, reduced to living in, or you know, lean-to shelters, people who are fugitives from society. Um, but uh, that's not his. He's not there to tell us this, this uh, story necessarily. He's there because he's interested in the phenomena, and uh, and but we we get we get a, a much bigger epic story out of what he photographs. Mark Rodell's work, he is again an exemplary craftsman. He started off wanting to be a painter, um, but became very interested in the work of Walker Evans. And then he was introduced to the work of Robert Smithson. So you know, the conceptual aspect came into his work. Um, and, uh, and then he learned about the new topographics, these photographers who were photographing the landscape, but also vernacular sites, not picturesque or sublime, but something um, more ordinary. And so he, he works with uh, great attention to detail. Uh, he does uh, very careful printing. He tones his prints. So they are small, exquisite prints, or smaller relative to you know, the larger prints that we see today in um, contemporary photography.